Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, today I heard you've been given a new title, Doctor, <laughs> Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency, the Second Lady, Dorcas Rigade, our guest, first daughter of Uganda, Pastor Patience Mseveni, all members of parliament, all dignitaries present, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Um, I have been caught completely off guard. I was not uh, expecting to be called. But let me just say how honored I am and privileged to be amongst us as women who have chosen to stand in the gap for our nation and especially women who believe in God. Today's message indeed um, is a very strong message to many of us. The only thing I would want to say is that I hope that this convocation will not just be a one-time event, that we will not walk out of here and be the same people who walked in through those doors that the message we have heard of the need to stand in the gap, to repent, to hold our nation, our families uh, before God so that we can be restored will be something that will be carried in our lives and exemplified even as we lead, especially for those of us who've been given the privilege of leadership. Um, I think I will end there and say that um, God bless Kenya. We are indeed greatly honored to be led by men and women who believe in God and who have unashamedly put their faith in front even as they govern this country. It's indeed a unique uh, thing for our country and we pray that for those of us in leadership that we will walk the path of our faith, standing always in the gap and always remember to be in repentance so that our nation may be healed. God bless you, and God bless Kenya, and God bless Africa. Asante. Thank you so much. You've done so well. I want to take this opportunity and briefly introduce our Her Excellency, Pastor Dorcas who is well known to us. She's a pastor, 